organize a compare and contrast essay. I can organize information in a compare and contrast essay. Determine the similarities and differences. Determine if the description describes the sea turtle, the tortoise, or both. Then drag and place it into the correct box. So the sea turtle has flippers, lives in water, travels by swimming. The tortoise has feet travels by walking, lives on land. They are both the same because they wear a shell on its back and is a reptile. Were you able to determine the similarities and differences? See if your answers match mine below. Were you able to, to determine all of the similarities between the two animals as well as their differences? Today, we will learn how to organize information in a similar manner. We will be practicing how to organize information by comparing and contrasting two topics. Why is it important? It is important to be able to organize information by comparing and contrasting because this is one of the many ways we can clearly express and inform others about information on two topics in a precise, meaningful way. We can organize similarities and differences between two ideas in an essay or in other forms such as in a speech, a presentation, etc. Informative explanatory text. What are informative or explanatory texts? Informative or explanatory texts are pieces of writing that tell or even explain information about an idea or topic. It is nonfiction writing and can be organized in a variety of ways. For example, strategies such as compare and contrast, cause and effect, and definition-based writing can be used to help organize the text. Some popular examples of informative writing are essays, biographies, textbooks, and articles. Compare and contrast. Compare and contrast. You can organize ideas and make connections between two topics and compare and contrast essays. Compare means to find similarities between two things or ideas and contrast means to find the differences. Compare and contrast examples. You can compare and contrast any two topics or ideas. Here's an example here. We have apples and oranges. The similarities for apples and oranges is that they are both are fruit, both are sweet, and both are nutritious. The differences are apples can be red, yellow, and green, while oranges are orange. Apple peels can be eaten, while orange peels can't be. Compare and contrast writing. There are certain signal words or phrases that you can use in your writing to help indicate if you are comparing or contrasting. Use them to help make your writing more precise. Comparing words. Here are some comparing words. Alike, both, same, similar, Similarly, similar, have in common in the same way. Contrasting words, unlike, different, differ, in contrast, 
but however on the other hand compare and contrast essay format this is how we will write in our compare and contrast essay this is our introduction our hook and topic sentence it includes the topics to be compared and contrast so you're going to put that in your introduction compare name the two Name the similarities between the two topics. That's your body. That's part of your body that you're going to write first. Your body, too, will be contrast. Name the differences between the two topics. And your conclusion will be summarizing, retelling, reiterate what your essay is about. Sort the compare and contrast signal or key words. Below are words and phrases that either indicate a comparison or a contrast between two ideas. Use the pencil tool to circle, compare keywords, phrases in green, and contrast keywords, phrases in red. So these are the words, phrases indicating a comparison. So you have similarity, similarly, in the same way, both have in common, you have similar, same, and alike. Then you have words and phrases indicating a contrast here. You have however, defer, unlike, on the other hand, in contrast, but and different. Compare and contrast the, the two topics. Read the text and drag the sentences from the bank and place them in the correct spots in the Venn diagram to compare and contrast thunder and lightning. Thunder is the crashing sound that occurs during a storm. Thunder is something that we can hear. If you hear a crash of thunder and you are outdoors, make sure to find someplace safe to stay. Unlike thunder, lightning can be visually seen. Lightning is the light that flashes during a storm. If you hear thunder, stay inside to be safe. So here we have to drag the phrases to the diagram. You have thunder and you have lightning and you have both. So we're going to put these sentences into where they go. So here are the answers for thunder. We have is a crashing sound can be heard for lightning we find a safe place if you notice it is a light and can be seen what they both have in common uh is that they occur during a storm and this one needs to go to here Compare and contrast dinosaurs. Read the text. Identify similarities and differences between the Tyrannosaurus and Stegosaurus. Use the pencil tool to fill in the Venn diagram. The Tyrannosaurus, um, I'm going to say T Rex, guys. Okay. It's called the Tyrannosaurus Rex or T-Rex for short, was a dinosaur that lived during the Cretaceous period. Uh, about 66 to 68 million years ago. It lived in the western section of North America. The T-Rex were very large dinosaurs. 
they grow they could grow up to 40 feet long their diet consists of meat the stegosaurus was a dinosaur that lived during the jurassic period about 150.8 to 155.7 million years ago stegosaurus lived in western north america they could grow up to about 30 feet long the dinosaur was an herbivore meaning it ate only plants so our t-rex is a meat eater grows to 40 feet long has arms lived 66 to 68 million years ago. A stegosaurus lived 150.8 to 155.7 million years ago. It's a plant eater and it has spikes. We compare both dinosaurs. They are both dinosaurs. They lived in Western North America and they both lived in different time periods. Organize the informational compare and contrast essay. Additionally, moths can use camouflage to hide from predators. They are both many similarities as well as differences between moths and butterflies. Have you ever confused a moth with a butterfly? Butterflies, on the other hand, are di you know so we need to put these sentences and questions that are in this box here we need to put those where they belong so Here is the full essay below. So I'm going to go ahead and read the whole thing to you guys. Have you ever confused a moth with a butterfly? Well, moths and butterflies are both bugs with, a, with large wings. So they often look similar. But they also have many differences between them that you might not see or no right away moths are usually nocturnal butterflies on the other hand are diurnal another difference is that a moth's wings will rest on its sides whereas a butterfly's wings will rest in an upright position on top of its body although different in many ways they do share some similarities both are insects with a pair of large wings and large, long bodies. Additionally, moths can use camouflage to hide from predators. In the same way, butterflies can do that too, using the colors in their wings to blend in with their background. In conclusion, there are both many similarities as well as differences between moths and butterflies. Such similarities and differences include their habits as well as their appearances. Up in the sky, the sun and the moon. So this is to compare and contrast the sun and the moon. So we can put our information in here for our differences and our similarities. The same thing we did with the T-Rex and the Stegosaurus. What did you learn? I can organize information by comparing and contrasting. Define, compare, and contrast. What transitional words or other phrases indicate compare and contrast? 
Give examples of topics you can compare.